Today our session is about a febrile seizure in pediatrics. What are febrile seizures? The febrile seizures are the convulsion that can happen when a younger child has a fever about 124 Fahrenheit, that is equal to 39 centigrade. Febrile means feverish. The seizure usually lasts for a few minutes and stops the owns, and the fever may continue for some time. Febrile seizure can look serious, but most stop without treatment and don't cause other healthy problems. Some kids may feel sleepy after once, while other feel no lasting effect. Who can get febrile seizure? Febrile seizure can happen in a kid with 6 months up to 5 years old. They are most common in toddlers between 12 up to 18 months old. Kids are more likely to have febrile seizure. Why? If they had family history of febrile seizure. Secondly, they have already had one. About one in every three kids who had a febrile seizure will have another, usually within one to two years of the first. Thirdly, they had a first febrile seizure when they are younger than 50 months old. Most children outgrow febrile seizure by the time they are five years old. Febrile seizures are not considered an epilepsy or seizure disorder. Kids have a febrile seizure when they only slightly increase the risk for developing epilepsy. What are the types of febrile seizures? There are two types of febrile seizures. That is simple febrile seizure and the complex febrile seizure. Simple febrile seizures. The simple febrile seizures are most common. They are usual over in a few minutes, but in rare cases can last up to 50 minutes. Symptoms of febrile seizure During these types of seizure, the child may converse, shake and twitch all over, roll the eyes, moan, and sometimes may lose consciousness. Complex febrile seizure This is a type of febrile seizure whereby the child may present with symptoms that can last longer than 10 minutes and happen more than once in 24 hours and involve the movement or twitching of only one part or one side of the body. What are the causes of febrile seizure? You can ask yourself why and how the febrile seizure can happen. But no one knows why the febrile seizure happens. But the evidence suggests that they are linked to some virus and the way that the child is developing the brain reacting to high fever. What to do if your child has a febrile seizure? So, if your child has a febrile seizure, you must stay calm and gently place your child on the ground or floor. Secondly, remove any nearby object. This is done in order to prevent injury. And place your child on his or her side to prevent choking that can help to prevent aspiration. And lose any clothing around the head that can prevent the tight of the neck of the watch of the child. And watch for signs of breathing problems, including bluish color in the face that can indicate the the, the, the decrease of the, of the oxygen in the body and they try to keep a track of how long the seizure this is done in order to differentiate this is a type of seizure that is simple febrile seizure or complex febrile seizure what to do if you see the child that develop the seizure first thing must stay calm and you should move back remove any potential harm to problem out of harm away to prevent injury spray the person and give him or her head support in order to prevent injury After the seizure ends, 
hold the puzzle from the other side and hold it with preventing choking. Please hold her head back to prevent against the choking from possible vomiting. How to give emergency medical aid to seizure patients? Move any potential harmful object out of harm away to prevent the injury. Do not restrain him or her from moving, provide head support and wait for the attack end. After the seizure attack is, move the patient, move the person from the side and tilt her or her head back to prevent choking. When the seizure is over, call your doctor for an appointment to find the cause of the fever. The doctor will examine your child and ask you to describe the seizure. In most cases, no other treatment is needed. The doctor might order the test if your child is under one years old and had other symptoms like vomiting or diarrhea. The doctor may recommend the standard treatment for fever, which is acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Given those medicines, around the clock is not recommended and won't prevent febrile seizure. If your child has a more than one or two febrile seizure lasts longer than five minutes, the doctor might prescribe anti-seizure medicines to give at home. When to call 911 for emergency. Get emergency medical care if your child has a febrile seizure that lasts longer than 5 minutes or 10 minutes. The seizure involves only some part of the body instead of the whole body that is complex febrile seizure and has a trouble breathing that is a sign of deficiency of the oxygen in the body and is not responding normally as another seizure within 24 hours and had to take an anti-seizure medicine to make the seizure stop. A child who has missed getting some vaccines and has a febrile seizure could have higher risk for meningitis. Get medical care right away if your child has any sign of meningitis, such as neck stiffness, a lot of vomiting, and baby bulging soft spot on the head. Febrile seizure can look scary to see but they are fairly common and not usually a symptom of serious illness. If you have questions or concerns, talk with your doctor. Thank you.